uh yeah i think over the next 3 to 4 years i think demart definitely uh, should uh, record uh, you know decent uh, growth uh, obviously the stock is not cheap by any standards but if the time frame is at least 3 to 4 years then i think definitely this is one retail uh, you know story which is yet to get completely uh, you know panned out in terms of the earnings growth in terms of the opportunity for growth in india retail is a very big space in fact more than 50000 crores of business gets added every year to the retail basket so obviously with a 3 to 4 year view i think uh, any dip in the price or, or any negative uh, sentiment you know whenever the stock corrects it could be a good time to accumulate this next query that i have is coming in uh, from a long term investor sudesh is the long term investor he's writing to us from kerala and he is uh, asking for a 2 to 3 large mid or small cap names for his core portfolio and he's asking in a large cap is it better to add infi tcs or hcl tech or all of them or just one of them he's asking this for kunal but considering he's a long term investor avinash i will throw this question to you yeah i think uh, from a long term perspective it definitely has the potential to bounce back and i think currently most almost all the it names like tcs infosys hcl tech are available at attractive valuations but i think one needs to keep in mind that uh, europe is in the midst of a recession us markets are also going through a uh, you know technically uh, you know factual kind of a recession number and i think this is definitely going to result in at least slower growth for the next 2 to 3 quarters so margins could come under pressure so if the investor has a 2 to 3 year view i think he could use the weakness to actually buy and sit on these stocks with a slightly longer term time frame so you know in that uh, 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 ranking i would suggest tcs seems to be very attractive they made a buyback at, at almost 4500 plus rupees and i think the company continues to be cash rich has a very good order book so tcs definitely could be a good bet but again from a longer term horizon uh i think he should continue to hold on i think the company has delivered very strong numbers in quarter 1 of fy23 and uh, see this is a b2c business with very high margins and uh, the company enjoys a very strong brand franchise across uh, pan india so my sense is i think if he can hold on for the next 6 to 12 months he could definitely expect a decent upside even from the current levels so he should not sell out in a hurry it's a great well managed kind of company and with the uh, you know normalcy kicking in covid going away i think we could see lot of upside for these kind of uh, you know retail footwear companies Yeah, I think uh, my sense is you know the stock is pretty uh, you know uh, illiquid and most importantly I think uh, you know it still needs to get a decent amount of scalability on its business side. Uh, only if the investor has a one and a half to two year view, I think he uh, you know he should hold on. Uh, otherwise, in the very near term, I don't think there is going to be any major upside here. So it's better to take at one to two year view here. In the short term, the stock may not give you a very decent kind of upside. So please keep that in mind. I think uh, better to wait for a correction uh, clearly because you know the stock is not cheap and I think uh, looking at the kind of earnings growth trajectory over the next say one to two years a small dip uh, is definitely advisable uh, definitely long term prospects are good and I would not be surprised that in the longer term you know value could also be made from these levels but I think a mild correction could definitely provide a better risk reward so I think wait for a mild correction and then you know start accumulating. See, I think uh, LIC has uh, disappointed a uh, lot of investors after its IPO. But one thing is very clear that they are in a business which is profit making. Uh, they control about 60 to 65 percent of the insurance market share. And I think uh, what the market has not liked is that previous year, you know, the dividend was also not very great. And secondly, uh, you know, somewhere the management has not been very aggressive, unlike the private insurance players. So my sense is, I think you know, if the investor has a two-year view, only then he should hold on. If he has a shorter term view, then I don't think there's going to be any major upside in the very near term. But yes, longer term, uh, definitely the stock should do well, considering that you know India is a very low penetrated country as far as insurance is concerned. So longer term, I think he could definitely uh, you know make a lot of money. But in the short term, I think it's avoidable. Now, I think uh, my sense is that within the power uh, utility space, uh, NTPC definitely looks attractive, and I think uh, within the stocks, uh, uh, you know, mentioned by you, Sigachi definitely also looks to be a good mid-cap kind of company. Uh, Sigachi, by the way, makes micro crystal and crystallites, which are basically major inputs in the pharmaceutical sector. Uh, they have a very rich clientele, so growth will definitely come in. Uh, already, the first quarter numbers have been encouraging, and the management commentary has also been good. So, here I think if the investor can hold on for at least 
a year he could definitely expect a decent risk reward and within the large caps i think we still continue to be positive on ntpc our sense is that with a large power generating capacity ntpc could definitely be a very good outliner in the you know power generating space so these stocks i think they could consider for long term investment uh shall i think cds will definitely stands out considering the fact that it's one of the players which is the player in the depository kind of uh, business it's a platform based company and recently i think uh, newsflow has also come in that uh, from december all the existing uh, policy holders will have to do e kyc via cdsl so that's going to be a big leg up for cdsl so my sense is in fact if he wants to invest in cdsl that could give him a better leg up as compared to angel one Uh, of course angel one is also doing pretty well they are a technology savvy broker and i think uh, the ramp up in their business volumes is also quite commendable but i think if one were to make a choice i think cdsl would stand out better as i believe that over the next say one one and a half year uh, you could see a significant amount of incremental growth coming in for cdsl via the insurance e kyc business i think uh, as far as ltts is concerned i think uh, you know the stock definitely looks attractive from the next the next 2 to 3 year view and i think their business model is completely different from infosys uh, they not only have a very strong uh, you know inclusion of artificial intelligence machine learning uh, but they obviously cater to a lot of uh, general engineering sectors also so i think uh, you know ltts definitely can be looked upon it's corrected significantly from its 52 week high so i think if the investor has a 2 year view uh, then definitely ltts could be a better opportunity uh, globally stocks we don't cover so shall i won't be able to give you a comment on apple okay uh, they'll get definitely averaged at the current level but uh, clearly in this company the bigger event is uh, you know uh, going to come in from europe recent reports suggest that you know a lot of steel and metal companies are going to stop production because energy costs have increased significantly so that could present a very large opportunity for a integrated player like uh, sale so my sense is keep a time frame of at least next 6 to 12 months and average the price because uh, the acquisition price has been slightly on the higher side for the investor so keep a time frame of 6 to 12 months and definitely remain invested here Well, I think uh, auto basket uh, is going to do much better than the IT sector, and I think this is because uh, you know uh, this sector has come out of a very long, difficult period over the last say two to three years. So I think you know companies which are operating in the commercial vehicle, in the passenger car space, the auto component companies, I would not be surprised, Cheryl, that these companies could actually deliver significant returns over the next one to two years. So I think IT may not be uh, in the same horizon what it was about two to three years back, and I think the time to buy IT stocks. still some time away uh, there's no need to hurry to buy it companies whether from the mid cap or the large cap basket i would still continue to believe that the auto and the auto component basket would do better so you know if he has a holding uh, about 2 to 3 years back in auto and auto components it's better to hold on uh, there's no need to hurry to book out you know profits here yeah i think uh, you know bank can definitely be looked upon as a good uh, fintech kind of player in the you know in the in the in the financial services space uh, more importantly they have a large pocket of opportunity in the rural markets in the tier 2 tier 3 you know kind of uh, you know cities so typically you know if the investor has at least a year or year and a half kind of time frame then i think fino uh, payment banks can definitely do well because the payment space is a very big opportunity and i think fino uh, payments bank has got its infrastructure well in place uh, most importantly its profitability levels are quite significant compared to the other fintech players so longer term definitely one could expect a decent risk reward but yes in the short term in the next 2 to 3 months please don't expect any major upside uh, there's no near term trigger at least as of now visible okay so now the next query we have is coming in on uh, bpcl holdings and uh, uh, I'm sorry, BPCL and uh, Nelson is holding uh, BPCL thousand shares at three hundred and thirty-four rupees. Should they sell or add more? What is the view on this one? See, if it's a very short-term kind of a, uh, a time frame which you're looking out for, then I think closer to three forty odd level is where you can look to book out profits. My sense is that the stock has this odd tendency of going into very minor rally three four days and then getting into a correction or a time-wise consolidation. So these are the kind of stocks which you should probably look out for only from a short-term trading plan. Don't look to hold it from a medium to long term play all right with that let's kick start with the rapid fire then and the first one is coming your way kuna sadaka from hyderabad solara active pharma 32 shares 1560 what should you do average buy or uh, sell i would suggest to average at current levels of 450 avinash uh, next query is on itc um, madhuri wants to know whether they can buy itc at uh, current levels for the next 2 3 years yeah definitely definitely at current 
Okay, Rajan from Chennai wants to know about Excite uh, 800 shares purchase at 172. Should he hold or sell Kunal? I think you should definitely look to hold and if possible add if the stock corrects to 160. Anand wants to know Coal India, whether it's a good time to buy Coal India. If no, uh, any other PSE stock, Abhinash? 